Anybody going to record with me today? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to today's video. Today is very special. Today's video is dedicated to Pilot Malloy, who lost his battle to cancer a year ago. His squadron puts on a memorial flight for him every year. The link can be found in the description in this video. His favorite fighter was the Aegis Avenger. And the fighter we have scheduled for today. Be sure to check it out. And on behalf of everyone here in Avenger Squadron, we hope you the very best. I'll see you at the end of the video. Now, Drake Buccaneer. Mm -mm -mm. And we're looking at the relative delta, 300 again, right? So once I receive fire, then I start to corkscrew. Bottom thrusters to pull through the corner, return to center, force him in the rate fight here. So I actually have a little bit higher of a rate in the Aegis Avenger than the Buccaneer, I think. So I actually can pull him in nice and close here. He's going to try and back up. See, he's trying to back up, trying to back up trying to back up and he's success successfully pulled the extension because we're trying to work around him here and we distance shoot him as he comes in on this turn 45 degree turn get our guns back up and again right once I receive fire then I reverse the circle the other way receive fire re reverse the other way and I'm just kind of feeding him full of holes there's the Buccaneer down now for the M50 I got chased in atmosphere. Okay. Well, we're pretty much in high altitude now, but I'll take this fight here. Let's see what he does. Again, right? See how he fires at long range there? Um, so I didn't fire until 500 and I dropped his shields. Now he's trying to disengage a little bit. So we're going to keep our circle nice and tight. Keep on slowly going towards him. In lead turn because we know he's going this way and we're gonna boost hard to get our position and then he's gonna panic nice 45 into the turn and then just track and roll there it is if I Is it a Super Hornet or Hornet Ghost? Nice, very cool. So we're looking at a relative delta again. See how it's 400? We want to keep that around 200 just so that, you know, see how he's coming in here? He's, he's actually lead turning here, but I didn't go past him. So that kind of messed him up a little bit. Now we're going to keep him on nice and close here, rolling into the turn. And when he matches me like this, see? Now I, uh, I go the other way. Now I, I track him in a roll again. Track him in a roll. He's firing at me. Go the other way. I just watch my throttle. The low throttle input. So he matches me. Go across his nose. He's going to match me again. Push hard now. It's a timing thing too, right? When it comes to rolling and shooting. All right? And return to center with the, with the velocity indicator. And come back around. Bottom thrusters to cut the corner. Up straight hard. And see, I got my nose on him faster. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna really make a difference. In what's this here? Cutty Black. No. Let's see if he wins the battle. And uh, Carrick. <laughs> Carrick. Does that have gunners? I wonder if it's got gunners. Oh, what's this? Ooh, it, the Gladius was with it, hiding in its signature. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, fight's on. 
So what we don't want to do is we don't want to fire anything. See how he's shooting from that range? We can shake a lot of that damage off. Uh, he's got to recharge. We don't want to squeeze our trigger until we're within effective range. Squeeze our trigger here. Now move because we're going to get fired on. Reverse the circle. And again, right? We're not firing until we're within range. Reverse the circle here. So now he's going to try and get distance on us. I'm going to keep shooting him. 45. Charge the guns. Bottom thrusters push. And up strafe hard here. 45 again. See, he's actually giving us the extensions that we're looking for because he's too heavy on his throttle. Right? Now we just want to push hard on him here. Stay with him. And lead turn here. Maximum throttle. Close the distance. We're going to have one more pass before he tries to slingshot away. Actually going to lead turn him here. Oh, what a lead turn. What a lead turn. That was textbook. That was textbook. The Aegis Avenger. You'd think a ship named the Avenger Titan. I would be a little more predisposed to liking this thing. But after flying the Avengers, either the Warlock, the Titan, or the Stalker, I must say, it leaves much to be desired. Although being a rookie ship, it's not entirely a terrible platform. But with its exceptionally thin skin, its light shielding, its physically large profile, and its relatively small capacitor, it is a very difficult hill to climb when fighting A or S tier fighters. Now one could argue that there are merits to the Aegis Avengers, one of them including its decent accelerations. When you fly this thing you'll notice that she's got some pretty good get up and go and the jerk profile means that you can actually control the ship at a relatively decent level. Having a turn rate that's quite low does cause problems in a dogfight. But with proper use of extensions, understanding the geometry of your fight, you can get around these issues. I don't want to sound too critical on the Aegis Avenger series, because they're not actually that bad. I've placed them in B tier, along with the Hornets, and with the right training and the right maneuvers, the Aegis Avengers can get some kills. It is a fun ship to fly, but when you're flying stuff like the Anvil Arrow and the Gladius on a daily basis, switching to the Aegis Avenger can feel a little bit like going from a supercar to your mom's Dodge Caravan. But let it be said, like I said before, with the right training, these ships can be quite decent. And of all the ships with an interior, I'd say she's up there with the best of them although beaten out by the Bonner Defender. My honest tactical analysis still stands. Aegis Avengers stand solidly in B tier. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but I would choose this over the current Hornet. As always, thank you so much for everybody who's been coming to the YouTube and the stream. It's pretty awesome seeing all you folks show up Show your love and your support for everybody and everything we're doing here at the stream. I hope that you've learned, we're entertained, but also educated from everything that we're doing here. And please be sure to check out our core skills playlist. If any of the terminologies or explanations made you feel like you weren't really sure what's going on, or you maybe want to start from somewhere to help build the foundation of your player versus player experience, and understanding Star Citizen's combat at a deep level. With the new changes to Scout Post Korea, I can think of no better time than to start PvP, to start your journey, to start your 1% right now. My name is Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.